não para estudar. Eu andava sair. Hi everybody, so I am back today. Just kind of wanted to put out a video today. Me brand in particular, just kind of overall like what I'm using, my face and my hair on my body, anything. So I just kind of want to give you guys just, you know, like the inside of what I've been using on a day-to-day -day basis and I hope you enjoy. The first couple of products that I'm using, I'm going to be talking about um, for my face and then I'm going to kind of go into oh, what I've been using in my hair and what I shower with and what I moisturize with for my body. So the first thing that I use to cleanse is the Burt's Bees Orange Facial Cleanser and I know that I've already mentioned this once before in one of my tutorials, but this is one of their award winners. And I really, really just feel like this is also one of my favorite products from Burt's Bees because when you're cleansing with this versus like another cleanser that's synthetic or has chemicals in it, you really feel like the, the cleansing process a lot more in this cleanser versus the others just because this really just penetrates down into your skin and I think it's a great cleanser as well as it being 100% natural um, and you also get like a nice fragrance smell out of it if you like oranges then it's definitely a plus for you um, but I definitely think that this cleanser works really well I definitely recommend it to anybody any any type of any skin type honestly can use this cleanser so that's what's really fabulous about it as well um, I don't want to talk about too, the products too long because I don't want this video to be like 15 minutes long. I kind of just want to give you you guys just like a quick review of what I've been using, what I like about it, and if you like it then go buy it, try it, try it out. So the toner that I tone with is the Rose Water Toner and they just recently redid the packaging on this. I think this is perfect for my skin. I'm to oily, um, so I get a little oily here in my T-zone, just around my nose, but that's about it. But this really just evens my, my skin out. This really just evens my skin out really great. And I think that it's just really relaxing. This is definitely... <laughs> It's hard to say, but this might be my favorite thing from Burt's Bees. It's their um, facial citrus scrub for an exfoliator. And honestly, uh, I can't get enough of this, but what's really getting on my nerves is that every time I go try to buy this in the store, it's always sold out. So a lot more people are getting aware of this product particularly. Um, yeah, it's kind of becoming a nightmare to buy just because Every time I go try to buy it, like I said, it's just sold out, but it looks like this. It's like a dirt. And what's really nice about it is what exfoliates your skin in it is the pecan shells. It's really, like I said, once again, a lot of these products are just for all skin types. I know a lot of Burt's Bees products, some of them focus on certain different skin types, but a lot of them are kind of just mainstream for everybody type of thing. And this is definitely one of them that is for all skin types. And what I like about this exfoliator is you can do this every day um, with a lot of exfoliators. Like I said before, if they have chemicals or they're synthetic, um, you can only do them like once a week. Otherwise, you'll get flaky or get dried out or you'll see cracks in your skin. But the great thing about this is since it's, since it's natural, you can use it on a day-to-day -day basis and you won't get dried out. You'll actually feel a really like, skin-polished feeling um, to your skin and you'll definitely notice a different difference within a couple of days. Um, I feel like my skin glows after I've been using this. Um, one of the things that I use for a moisturizer on a day-to-day -day basis, and this is actually technically a night cream, but you can use it also as a day cream if you're a little dry in the face, is just um, their moisturizing beeswax cream. I put this on every morning and wow, like my skin cleared up really well because I was breaking out really like bad here, I think, just in my opinion. And when I started using this, it just like took everything away and it really like cleared me up a lot and made me glow. So I really like this. And you don't really need a lot of it because it spreads a lot. So really cute packaging, super simple, 100% natural, not a lot of ingredients to that. 
um, just ba mainly beeswax and um, some sweet almond oil and water in that with um, grapefruit seed and some leaf extract. So that's a simple good one. So that would be everything that I'm using on my face. And the last thing that I'm using on my face is uh, a mask that I use once every week um, from Lush. It's called Love Lettuce. And this really helps with the complexion in your skin for any redness you have, which I do get a little redness around my cheeks. So I've been using this. You can buy this only in-store, not online, for $6.95 in-store. Um, you need to refrigerate it four hours within buying it because it's made with natural ingredients. So you definitely want to get this baby into your refrigerator ASAP because you do not want this um, out of the fridge at all. It actually says right there, keep in fridge on the label, so super important. But it's only $6.95 and I've been able to use like a good like five uses of it still and I still have it and it's like a small jar too but you don't really need a lot because it spreads a lot. So you get like a good like 10 use uses out of this product for a good, uh, that's a pretty good damn price. So but this one's working um, great with my skin. So definitely, definitely recommend this if you ha are a complexion person that needs to be evened out like me. Um, that's a good, that's a good mask to get. Um, okay, and then I want to start on what I'm, oh, I'm sorry. One more thing for the face. And then for my sunblock, I'm using Alba Botanica, um, Hawaiian sunscreen SPF 45. I just blend that with everything after I put my cream on, blah, 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 etc., etc. So don't forget your sunblock. Super important to be wearing that every day unless you want to age and die. For my hair, um, I'm actually really, really excited to talk about my hair because um, there's two products that I love right now that I'm using for my hair and it's not like over the top any or anything like that so it's super, super good. Um, the, I'm using an oil in my hair and it's from African Royale. It's um, a hot oil or cold oil, whatever you want to prefer. It, whatever you prefer, it doesn't matter. But it has um, 16 natural oils in it and herbs for your hair. Um, what I like about it is, you one, you don't need a lot of it. You just like one or two like pinches out of the jar of the oil and you just rub it through your hair. I leave it in... I either like treat it like a leave-in conditioner through the day or I do it at night and then wash it out in the morning. Um, but it really moisturizes the crap out of my hair. Uh, you can get this at Target um, for like $4.39 I think. Not that bad at all. Um, and it doesn't leave your hair greasy so a lot of you might be like, oh that might leave your hair greasy. No. You don't get any grease left from this product in your hair. It's just really super shiny and moisturizing. So I really, really like that. Um, some of the some of the oils are olive oil, canola oil, wheat germ oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, vitamin E, A and D. So it's just a lot of great things for your hair um, that you may be missing or not getting from products you're using already. New way to dye your hair. Um, I, I haven't really ever been a person that has been big on dyeing my hair, but since I am aging in life, um, I've been starting to get some like white hairs, which kind of just is in my genetics and runs in my family. We get, we get white hairs like kind of fast, so that kind of sucks on my part, especially since I have dark hair. Um, one. One thing to know is if don't ever dye your hair black because you're not supposed to dye your hair black. It has any kind of hair dye that has like a black, that has a black color where you're dyeing your hair black is really, really bad for you, even if it's natural. Um, not supposed to do that. That, I mean, dyeing your hair in general causes cancer, whatever. You can't get rid of that. But there's something about black hair dye that they say that it's like really super bad. You're not supposed to do that. If you want to go dark, go dark brown. So that's what I do. Um, 
But I don't use anything that is like super, super bad, like that you'd find at a retail store. I actually bought this online and this is Light Mountains, um, the Light Mountain brand. Um, natural way to dye your hair, dark brown, and it's just, it's 100% pure botanical hair color. The only process for this one is instead of it being like a liquid, it's a powder inside with, and you get your gloves here. And um, yeah, and that's basically it. And instead of dyeing your hair with the liquid, you do it in a powder way, so it's more natural and they use less ingredients that have chemicals, etc., etc. in it. Check them out. Their website's actually pretty cool. And they have a lot of pretty hair colors, not to mention the packaging is like amazing on this. Like that's so beautiful. Yeah, so yay, pyramids and lions. So I like pyramids and lions, I think they're cool. Um, pyramids fascinate me, so just throwing that out there. But the packaging's really fabulous on this, and I think that you guys should try it if you want to dye your hair and you are a woman or a man, because it is very good. Okay, so anyways, um, okay, so now just a couple more things. I'm going to talk about um, a couple of things I'm using on my lips and for the body, and I have a special toothbrush to talk about. So, um, for my body, I'm washing with Burt's Bees Radiance Exfoliator. Um, it has like little beads in it and it's really nice and it has like a little pretty smell to it that I like. So, and also it's just really soothing. It's not overwhelming, it's not too thick or like too thin of a body wash. You get a really nice texture out of it. So, I definitely really appreciate it. It has royal jelly and um, yeah, royal jelly seems to work really well with my skin. So definitely liking that and I think that this is one of their best body washes to wash with and to moisturize with to follow that is the Burt's Bees Milk and Honey Body Lotion. Um, such a heavenly smell. I love, love like this body lotion. It's one of their best from them of course. Um, and I, I really just feel moisturized all day. I like to put a little bit of the lotion here on my neck so when people give me like hugs or it's one of my tips just to smell good like oh mm, you're smelling good like mm -hmm, yeah I wonder why. So I definitely put that like around my neck and stuff to smell sexy. Okay and um, one of the colognes that one of the colognes that I'm using is the natural grooming dust cologne from Herban Cowboy. Um, they sent this to me actually as a sample and I've almost used the whole thing. I like it. It's just a really refreshing smell and it's like straight up like a men's cologne. Like this just reminds me like of a man. So like I don't know like if a man just had like a smell in general like he would smell like this. Exfoliator on my lips. I just got an email from Lush saying that this popcorn lips lip scrub was back and I was like whoa like that's hella cool so I just like went in the store and I bought it and I was I actually like the guy that was helping me gave me a sample of it and I was like this is awesome and you can eat it as well. It's cool and what really is cool about it is like it's popcorn and you get it like a nice like little smell and it's really yummy. Um, I really feel like it's working really well on my lips. It gets like a lot of the dead skin cells off your lips or if you get like that residue during the day or you just like dry chapped like chapped lips like and you want to get like all that excess off like this is definitely like a really good like scrub to buy they are moisturizing my lips i follow up with the burt's beads chapstick the regular because i just feel like my lips are just like perfect after the combination of two so that's working really well for me and then this is a radius toothbrush um it has a great grip here with a handle um, and a lot of bristles here, which is really great. It's also designed to help you brush at a 90 degrees angle, which is how we're supposed to be brushing our teeth, just FYI. Um, we're supposed to brush at a 90 degrees angle because it does not irritate any of the gums, etc, etc. This is the best toothbrush I've ever brushed with. Um, any other toothbrush that I buy 
electronic wise, etc., etc. Just like travel size, it really just wears out on me super fast and it really like gets on my nerves. So this has lasted me a while since they've actually sent me this as a sample. I've had this for like a good four months and I'm still going strong with it. I use it every day. And yeah, it's really working great for me. I, I've seen a lot of difference in my gums clearing up because my gums were really, really red before when I was just not really brushing at a 90 degrees angle. They are awesome. Um, and that's just basically it. That's everything that I've been using on myself on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but yeah, so I hope everybody's doing good and I hope you like the products. If there's some things you like, I'll just list it below. If you have any questions, just email me and I will see you guys later. Bye!